Hey everyone, welcome back to Pomming Oz. Hope we're all doing well adequately. Hey, that's probably the best we can do. If you are new around here, please like and subscribe. It does mean the world we're, we're really smashing out support at the moment, which is phenomenal and honestly does mean the world to me. I can't even do my intro right, man. Well, Cal and Gold Coast, hey, that was good. Firstly, I'm a man of substance and I'm a man of morals and my late pop used to say to me that if you don't have your words, son, you have nothing. And he said that's the only thing that binds us as people, rich, poor, our word is the most valuable thing anyone will ever possess. And firstly, I've got to put my hand up here. I've got to put my hand up and sincerely apologise to each and every one of you. Because personally, I, I saw one game against St Kilda and after all I've said, no structure, the guy can't coach, the team's shit house. Uh, I fell into the trap. I don't know what it is. I can't explain it to you as well. I, I've, I, I've been speaking to people and I, I, I can't explain it because... There was nothing there to show me that the change, it was just hope. And it's something that I, I talk about a lot. Don't be deceived and don't hope. And I fell into that trap. So if I gave anyone false hope, I mean, I said 90 fucking points, man. I am so, so sorry. Like, I, I, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I, I, I need to do better as a, 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 as a presenter, really. And need to present my feelings sometimes with yeah just unedited because honestly I, I feel so low and i hope no one feels like i do because of something i've said because i don't know i'm i can't explain it maybe i convinced myself maybe i didn't want to believe we hadn't changed but fuck me that I, I, I'm, I, I know this sounds really overdramatic, but the lowest I ever felt was seeing my nan pass away in front of me. I, I'm there. And that is pathetic at 35 years old. Let's talk about the game. I mean, the ball bouncing inside your D50 in contests. Going back to 2.10 kick handball ratio, which is nearly a whole extra kick over last week. Going back to long possessions against a side that we talked about didn't. That is as close to a defensive and structural display as a polar opposite of what you saw last week. And that says to me, unfortunately, that angry Pom might be right. And I don't want to be angry Pom, and I don't want to be negative Pom. But t -car coach, man, and that is plainly obvious. And I wanted him to, like, that's the worst thing. I, I teach my kids all the time. Don't want something so much that you blindside yourself from the path of what's required. Working in development. My boss texted me something absolutely beautiful at the end of that game. And he said that we were in a meeting last week where someone that had worked for the company for 10 years got fired. And they got fired mainly, I wouldn't say it's my fault, but I would say that it was on my recommendation in the terms of we developed this person and he's a great person but he kept doing the same mistakes and it wasn't through process that he made the mistakes same mistakes it was pure arrogance and from the arrogance of him always going off tangent affected his team and it affected the performance and the well-being of everyone that was under him and he sent me a text after and saying that it's really interesting i want you to think about he said, his exact words, I'll read it out to you, were, hey, May, I would love to be a fly on the wall in a development meeting with David Teague. Um, he's right. He's right, because professional pom is a little bit different. Uh, well, it's not different, but 
probably because as horrible as it sounds, I'll probably get fired for this. I, I don't care about my job the same way I care about my club. It's it's a job I care about the people I work with, but I don't care about anything else, to be honest. In, in, in it, that that's about it. My responsibility is to the people. And it's the same with this show, in a way. My responsibility is to you guys and girls. Uh, I, I want to... Be a voice that you guys can listen to and you can bounce off. Do you know what I mean? That, that's it. And on a greater scale, that's what the club should be. It should be a place that we bounce off. I, I'm lost for words, to be honest. That, that was piss poor. Like, if you structurally set up like that, you structurally set up to lose to Gold Coast... We went from last week where the ins were so tremendous and gave us some impetus and gave us hope to this week that the ins were so... It was written in the wall as well. My father-in-law said it to me. Bets coming back proved to him that he hadn't changed and that was a circumstance change. But when the push comes to the shove, he'll go back to his ways. We were blindsided by finals was the excuse. I'm paraphrasing there, but he said that the finals talk distracted us. There's a fucking EGM push, man. There's a lot of fucking distractions. But finals should be native. Success can never blind you. Success and the will to be successful should never blind you because that is a natural occurrence in life. Whether it's with kids, you naturally want to be a better parent. Whether it's with your wife or your husband, you naturally want to be a better partner for you, for them. The great words of my pop said that the true definition of love, in his opinion, was always approach things in life, son, where you leave it stronger than it was before. And that's always stuck with me because everything else I knew about love and knew about things at that stage of time, I was 14 at the time, felt like I had to change it. And that told, changed my perspective around it. It's you improve it. By merely sometimes it's as easy as you being there. And what is T doing, man? Like, imagine your boss saying, don't worry, you fucked up because you wanted to be good. It's not how you develop people. And I'm telling you, that's, that, that's my passion. That's my industry to develop people. You need stage plans. And the most important thing is, is if you're in a position of development, you're kind of high up in the developed tree. Because you can't pass something on if you haven't got a process that you follow yourself. And that's irregardless of whatever it is, whether it's sport or not. And if T loves the club, he resigns. Quite simple. And that was the conversation we had in this firing meeting. It was something that I brought up. And... You know, credit to the person, and it shocked a lot of people in that meeting when he handed in his resignation, because I asked him, point out, do you care? Do you really want to do this? Because I could see in his eyes, he did it his own way because he wanted more for himself. He didn't want to be under the confines of what we do. And I commend that. And, you know, we had a beer after, and yeah, great bloke, and great bloke, and there was no hard feelings, but... And he actually said, thank you. Now, David Teague, you will thank me for this. Resign. Bro, this ain't in it for you, man. You might be a wonderful line coach. But how much evidence do you want that you are out of your depth? And it's okay to admit you're out of your depth sometimes. I do it many a time. Because when you own it, you can reapply and get back to that. This was, for me, a display of arrogance of its highest order to go back to the, a methodology that doesn't work. And it's interesting because if you actually look at the St. Kilda game, that's akin to the first four games, almost in identicality between ball movement, positioning, X, Y, Z. And this week, again, is another example of since 2021. And we're not going to count 2020 because it was a shortened game plan. The structures were different. But even then the writing was on the wall. It doesn't work. <clears throat> I want to feel proud. And 
I mean, I'm here apologising to the fans of myself and Blue Abroad for giving false hope. Where's the fucking apology? It's the apology, man. Because that deserves an apology. Them players from Ball Up, if you go back and watch the live, me and Riley talked about it, that the first bounce, you could see that it wasn't in the eyes of the players. And I look at the circumstance of motivation. Motivation sometimes, one of the greatest motivators for people is consequence. And it's a weird one because people don't talk about it. People always talk about the glossy things in development. Sometimes consequence is a great thing. And in my time in consequence, in working in rehabilitation and stuff like that, and working around drug addicts, is the consequence is a huge motivator. People forget that because it's not glossy, it's not sexy. Do you know what I mean? You want people to tell you that to be good at something, you have fucking sunshine and poppycock and stuff like that. In reality, that's not the case. Sometimes one of the greatest motivators is, you know, you need to change who you are because your, your mother's going to die. She's terminally ill. And that is a great motivator for people because it's empowering. And for me, the motivation for the players was simple this week. Finals is still on the line. There's a board push. There's, we're in the papers for all the bad things. Everyone is poo-pooing on our club's name, on our board's name. And if you gave a shit about them, because we keep getting told the players care about Teague, the players care about the coaches, they care about Mark Lagoudiche, all this bollocks. If you, if you, I, t I tell you what, one of, one of my development techniques is, because I'm a bit quirky, people like working with me. And that's not an arrogant statement. I know it's true because people have said it. And I use that for my advantage. And I say, look, if you really like me, I'm trying to help you here. And if you get fired, that looks on me. That reflects on me. So please don't. Please listen to me and work together with me because I want you to be good. And it's a great tool sometimes for people because some people aren't self-motivated. Some people really do. And this is, I would say, genuinely across the board, people will do things for people they like. It's why we do things for our parents, just kind of blindly, because it's not an obligation, it's a want. How could you not be motivated if you actually gave a shit about team? Because you knew what was going to happen. Like, these players aren't stupid. And that was devoid of energy. I, I, I can't accept a lethargic performance. I, I can't. That's, that's where I draw the line. Because everything that I believe in life is you try. And that, that honestly, I, I don't care what anyone says. And if I'm out of order for saying this, who gives a fuck? The boys didn't give 95%. They didn't. The structure's a huge thing. And I think that's part of the part, part of the huge problem. Structure, if you're not enjoying what you're doing, there's no way you can enjoy playing that way. There is no way from a systematical point of view where you know it is ineffective. It's... It's never going to win flags. Last week, we saw them start a little bit lethargic, but there was happiness when that game plan started to kick off. It's fun. It's fun to watch, and I'd imagine it's hella fun to play. Backs against the wall against Gold Coast, and... This, it, it, it's not good enough. Like, Gold Coast are a talented side, let's be honest. We probably downplayed them a little bit. But it's Gold Coast, man. They finish bottom four for a reason every year. It's not, it's not rocket science. It's okay people saying that they've got talent on the list. They finished bottom four for a fucking reason, man. And we're talking top eight. It's what we've been talking about. It's what the whole rebuild is. And why is there no accountability is my issue from the club. Like, I could not face you. I fucking nearly cried on fan camps and apologised to people. I apologised to people on the live and I'm apologising to people now. And part of me thinks, well, Pom, it's not your fault. But I do feel like I have a duty when I use my voice, to own the words and what they could influence. And some people did reach out to me and say, Pom, I'm really nervous about this game. And me, like the dumb fucking chubby Pommy idiot I am, is like, oh, no, that's all fucking good. This will be 60 points, baby. Fucking clown I am, man. And I hate being like this. And honestly, uh, just, you know, you know how much it affected me is, you know how much I love my Rangers. We lost 1-0 to Dundee. And like, honestly, I, for the first time in my life, we lost to a shit side and kind of just didn't care. I wouldn't say I didn't care. I just kind of like, was like, well, it's just fucking normal, isn't it? Hey, welcome to 2021, pub. 
When you're playing with a club that's 80,000 members, they're like fifth in the membership ladder. Even though they've fabricated their members, they're still members, they're still fans. Their memberships have been given to people who care. In a COVID, another affected year, I, I disagree that it's not a motivator. To me, that would be the strongest motivator I could find, that they're in lockdown, six Melbourne is. And probably a good percentage of them Melbournians that are in lockdown, fucking hoping that you give them something to smile about. And instead, fuck me, man. And how can you have the audacity to sit in front of the cameras like T does and say, oh, pressure might have got to us. Well, that's your fucking job to handle pressure. And the way you handle pressure reflects on your troops. If you're not fucking worried because you have a plan, amazing how people fucking follow, and they don't have a plan because T knows his game plan's gash, but he just is too arrogant to admit it. And that's the problem. I think it's arrogance. Arrogance. And I've already started to see it, people taking pop shots at fans, man. Don't be blind, don't be naive. We set the level of accountability and regardless of what you feel for T, regardless of what you feel for Eddie Betts, fucking we should be ahead of losing to these mugs, man. We should be ahead of it. That, that shouldn't be even a question in my eyes. Like, honestly, from a structural point of view, and I watched the game this morning, honestly, I had to have Valium fucking on standby. Structurally, that was poor. Totally, totally poor. And I'm incredibly sorry. I'm incredibly sorry that I, I put faith in these in this system when I know it wouldn't work and I knew there was a part of Pom deep down that was like you know they, they won't do it and I can't imagine what it's like you know I've always wondered what it would be like when I fell off the rails as a young lad what my pop must think all that time and fucking energy and he's doing this and I, I fucking know now and honestly fuck I wish he was here so I could fucking call him now and give him a hug so I'm a complete fucking dickhead for doing that to you. It's poor. And for me, the only way out of this now is whether you like Teague or not. You've got to admit, you've got to be humble. This ain't the way it is. Whether that's a board change, I couldn't give a fuck about the board. You know, I'm, I'm the man of the people. I, I, I don't care about suits in fucking high-rise towers, man. Care about the real people, the men and the women that are on the front line, and they're fucking wearing this loss. Well, them dickheads are supping a beer and fucking making some soppy Instagram post, man. Because that's where I am at. Because I, I just can't say it. It's all right, people saying that this isn't the A's anymore, Palm. Uh, the club doesn't mean anything to anyone. It's just a paycheck. Even if it's just a paycheck, you want to do your job well. And like, honestly, I question the integrity of any human being on this planet that doesn't do their job to the best of their capabilities. Because that says a lot about you. And of course, jobs are for pay paychecks. That's why we do them. Otherwise... We'd sit on our couch all day eating freaking enchiladas, man. And do stuff we enjoy doing. So, of course, you've got to have a bit of ownership in what you do. Should affect you. Tell you what, just doing this video is hard work. I spoke to Bucky yesterday. He went to bed at 6.30, man. Man that's got passion and heart. From here we need a new coach, from here we probably need to get every assistant coach in that team to fucking reapply for the list. In the playing group there is a lot of players that need to question what they're about as human beings first before we talk about footballers. It's poor, it's poor and I think you just saw a big underline there that counting is about false hope, that's what we're about. We do it when we're all a little bit upset but you know what happened? The pressure came off them didn't it from us? And that's what I keep telling you, the Holy Trinity, we're the most important part of it. We're the fucking God in that Holy Trinity. Pl players, staff, fans, we're the gods of that. Took the little bit of pressure off, didn't we, them? We started to believe, look what happened. Went straight back to what they knew, because they know better than us, because they played AFL football. I mean, what an archaic way to think about anything. Because I tell you what, these people who have played for this club for 20 years 
their opinion in the AFL should be null and void because it's always presenting failure. Always. Maybe we should look at other sports. Maybe we should look at other people. It's a disgrace. It's a disgrace to the great C monogram that they wear. Someone needs to rip that fucker off. And not let them play. And just play in freaking navy blue Kmart jerseys. Because I'll tell you what, man. You've got full grown men crying about it. Full grown women crying about it. Upset, angry. But it's okay though, man. The cause itself, count and respects. If that doesn't motivate you, you get these soppy little videos they do of how they're affected by that. Tell you what, you made me play for a cause that I give a shit about. Give you 10% more every time. Unbelievable. But again, we're in it together. I love you all. We're a family. And our family is a bit broken at the moment. Mm. The only way you fix that is by hard conversations and development. And again, you've got to own when you fuck up. And I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to each and every one of you that I might have given false hopes. That's on me. I, I'm a poor human being for doing that. But that's that, that, that's as piss poor as you can get. That's Collingwood Brown 2. That's North Melbourne. And set up by a lack of care and a lack of real. They're the two things I would say. If I was speaking to every team now... Your structure comes from a lack of care. Comes from a lack of care in the right places. It's a care for yourself because you believe this works versus a care for the people that you're responsible for. And that is, what, 40 players on a list and 80,000 sat at home and probably 120 plus thousand people around the globe. One man over 120. And... Yeah, the board have got a responsibility in this, but you've got to remember how the structure of a football club works. The coach sets the tactics. The coach sets the mantra in which the assistants go to. And the that is the facts. At the moment, he is leading this charge, and he's leading this charge into just... He's, he's basically a pillar of his own arrogance and self-importance. Time to go. Time to go. And honestly, we're going to learn a lot about him as a human being. Because I don't think you need much evidence to know that this guy's been so fucking out of his depth it hurts. And you know a lot about people when they're out of their depth and how they own it. And when they make a mistake. It's probably the biggest leader you'll see in what a human being is like. And if they're worth something. Because every decision should be made. With brutal honesty. I love you while we go over to Paul next. That'll be fun, eh? Uh, football. Only two more weeks to go, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll do some draft videos and we'll get excited by kids again, eh? Very low pump, but I'm sending you all my love. My apologies, my love. Be safe if you're in lockdown. If you're not, well done. But still send my love anyway. Be good to each other. Pump out.